all of the girls on this list are random hookups or fans that may possibly have something against you with reason. Oh, no. Oh, no. 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 So the game just started. Oh, I was worried. This is where it it's started me. Long. Those are the ones I remember. I've lost contact with a lot of the others and forgotten their names. The number on the left is my guess for how angry they are, if that helps. Doesn't help, does it? Anyway, there was something important you had to tell me? I don't know what the best way to put this is, but... Uh, tell me about Veronica Kerrigan, uh, without asking me why. Uh, okay. Don't ask why, but... I need you to tell me about Veronica Kerrigan. What? What? No. Ed, please. It's important. What is this? Don't let a single day go by without Ed telling me about some childhood trauma. Ed. Even with what she did to me, tarnishing her memory isn't what I had planned. She was completely off her rocker, but she was a kid and the daughter of a good friend of mine. Well, at least at the time. Trust me. Please. Only since I owe you one. Flashbacks? What could it be? Um, some subjects attach all their positive emotions to a parent figure. However, the mere uh, fear of losing such an anchor could destabilize the subject forever. Bread do to make you want to torture it like that? I don't know. It's fun. Can we go to the movies? Yeah, yeah, sure. If you take your medicine, we can go this evening. <sighs> Dad. What did the doctor say? go to the movies today? Oh, um, right. Not today. I have to work. You always have to work. Sweetheart, I'm meeting Ed Miller at five, so... It's always Miller. Did you like our vacation last summer? Mm-hmm. Well, we wouldn't have gone to Paris or Rome if it hadn't been for Miller's book tour. It's always that Miller guy. And that's a good thing. If his second book goes like the first one did, I'll have a ton of time to spend with you. Besides, he's a great guy, and he really cares about you, if you just give him a chance. But it's just... Sweetheart, I'm running late. I have to brush my teeth. We'll talk about this later. Why is that bread out like that? Oh. Uh. Okay. Pick a wine, Ed. We have to work late anyway, so why not enjoy it? You should get to bed, Veronica. It's late. Veronica, baby girl, it's not Ed's fault that you got cut. It wasn't his job to pick up the broken glass. Better think of a different plan. I'm not gonna let them. Not the doctors, not Miller, not anybody. No one's turning me into a lame brain or stealing dad from me.
at a loss for words for this girl. She's, uh... She's crazy. Hmm. No. What if something happened to Dad? Plenty of pills, but they'd know they were mine. No. No. Fuck, I guess sneeze. Jesus Christ. I'm fine up until I start recording and then I started sneezing. I'm allergic to the microphone. Okay. Lure Miller to the house while dad's away. Okay. I don't want to do that. But I also don't appear to have a choice. How do I do that? In this tiny concealed room. Oh, my phone. Hmm. What if Dad walks in and catches me? Lock the door. Dad, I don't know which way to turn it. I don't know, sweetie. Try to the left. To the left, it doesn't do anything. Then try to the right. I was really scared, Dad. Hey. Isn't that bad? Mm, I love you so much, Daddy. I love you too, sweetheart. Yeah, get cracking. I'm gonna be late for a meeting, and you're gonna be late for school. Yeah, right. The bus comes in 45 minutes. Okay, but don't get sidetracked, because then you'll miss it again. I always miss the bus. It always, uh, never ran, like, perfectly on time. Ten months till your birthday. Promise is a promise. Who's daddy's pretty little girl? <laughs> Veronica. Be good, sweetie. So it seems like she already hates Ed. Without anything. It, it seems like he's just taking up her father's time. So she minutes. hates him. Oh, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Okay, we're it's normal oh, pictures, right? You're the only one who knows what really happened to Mary. Yeah, I know I barely talk to you anymore, but I've grown up. There we go. Uh, she's just a psychopath. I'll save the photos there later. Okay. Everything was going just fine till Miller showed up. Daddy is mine, and everything will go back to being just fine. 
All right. If you say so. Uh, what's that? Oh, oh, it's her, it's her pills she doesn't take. Because she's crazy. Okay. Okay, uh. <laughs> Those were good times. What does she hide there? Uh, is that a piece of glass? Was there another route I could have chose to use something with that? We are the same. If they touch us, we fry them. Okay. Oh, this is fucking weird. Maybe not. It has to look like he took the pictures. Uh... Huh? What? Is that a mirror up there? Why is it so high? She's too tiny. Oh well, I'm stumped. Maybe fuck. So, I... Alright. Uh, probably next in the window? If we wanted to make him look creepy, we just set it up outside. I guess, uh, guess right here. Seeing a tripod makes me think... Why do people dog on selfie sticks? It's a very convenient thing. So are tripods, but... Did people shit on tripods when that first came out? Ew. Oh, thank God it cut to black. Ms. Veronica, the boss. I'm coming, Reginald. You're going to miss it again. <sighs> School's going to go by so slowly today. Where's my dad? I was just going to ask him the same thing. Oh. Then I guess I have to be nice to people at our house. <laughs> be the host. Yeah. <laughs> you writers are so cool, knowing all those complicated well, words. Oh, no, we're not that cool. Should I tell Reginald to bring me something to drink? That's okay. I, I'm on it. Oh, man. I want to be a good host. Oh. Well, then. Yeah. Whatever you want. Okay. Thanks. He looks so edgy. Like a young Tony Stark. And she looks like a female Chucky doll. This is the first time, but technically the sec second... It's the second time, but technically the first time we've drugged this guy. Okay. Okay. It's not that easy. I would assume. 
Corn Lemonade, yes. Yes. Both of those work. I brought you the whole picture, in case you want more. Wow, you're a perfect bunch. Well, it's hot as Hades. Even worse than this uniform. I'm gonna get changed. Have you heard from your dad? No. So this is at four after school, yeah? Damn, you just... You just went for it all, huh? Where the hell are you, Kelly? I don't even know what the fuck to title this video after. <laughs> Nothing is going to be good. If I'm trying to go for vague, but something somewhat to do with the episode, it, it's not going to be good. Dad! I didn't think you'd be here so early. told me what are you two up to what's your little secret secret veronica um ed got here a little early because he wanted some pictures of me in my school uniform for something in his book and he just took them on his phone and they turned out super super cool you want to see them daddy That was the end of a beautiful friendship. Robert threatened to report me to the police, but I did it myself. They arrested me, obviously, but when they inspected my phone, the picture's metadata indicated that the photos had been taken with another device. Plus, the time didn't match Veronica's testimony either. They found the same drugs in my blood as the ones present in Veronica's meds, as well as all the pills she hadn't taken still in her room. Robert apologized, but we decided not to continue working together. We grew apart. Not long after that, Robert checked Veronica into a mental hospital. When I heard about her death, I called Robert in case, I don't know. He thanked me. We hung up and haven't spoken since. And that's it. I have no idea how Robert's been these last few years. I do. He came to me shortly after Veronica's funeral. He needed help and told me his story. Veronica was two years old when Robert adopted her. I never looked into her previous life, nor her biological family story. But I have a friend who might- Doctor, are you going to tell me what on earth Veronica has to do with any of this? Veronica did not die in the psychiatric hospital. She died two weeks ago. What? Veronica is Faye. There's still gonna have to be one more, one more zinger, you know? One more. Dun dun dun. But I don't know. I really don't fucking know. As a kid.
kid, I'd pretend I was a pirate and unearth buried treasures. As a kid, I'd play spy games and discover classified information. As a kid, I made up a character I could talk to. As an adult, I buried my childhood. As an adult, I covered up my childhood. As an adult, the character I created took my place and never let me speak. My father succumbed to alcohol. My father got lost in obsession. My father lost sight of the world. My father became a stranger. My father was a reason my mother wasn't happy. My mother couldn't put up with him anymore and searched. My mother's only way of coping was to search outside the home. My mother didn't deserve to be treated the way she was at home, so. My sister Jenny was a product of that search. My sister Jenny wasn't supposed to be born into my family. My sister Jenny was the only thing. My father reacted in the worst possible way. My father caused an accident that killed. My father deliberately killed my mother and Alcohol I. led my father to cause an accident. Obsession caused my father to react. My mother and my sister died at the Brody Canyon. My mother and my sister were murdered at the Brody Canyon. My father wanted to liberate himself jumping off of that My scene. father didn't have the spine to own up to what he'd done and jumped off Remorse of that Remorse led my father to jump off of that I'd scene. forgotten how I felt. Did I feel furious? Afraid? Did sad? Did I feel hatred? Did I feel alone? Did I feel nothing? Did I feel everything? My Aunt Claire took care of me when I was left all alone. My Aunt Claire helped me forget. My Aunt Claire forced me to forget. My Aunt Claire buried my childhood. My Aunt Claire covered up my childhood. Okay, uh... As a kid, I'd pretend I was a pirate and unearthed buried treasures. As an adult, I buried my childhood. My father got lost in obsession. My mother didn't deserve to be treated the way she was at home, so... My sister Jenny was a product of that search. My father caused an accident that killed. Remorse led my father to jump off of that same. My Aunt Claire buried my childhood. I'd forgotten how I felt. For 27 years, I haven't known who I was. 27 years of writing to hide myself. Only to turn into somebody I'm not. Drowning in sarcasm and lies. Wait, he's 27? It's over. I was thinking like mid-30s. Find Ginny, face the past. Are we going to shave the beard? Yeah, we're going to shave the beard. This is our comeback arc. Maybe we'll put a shirt on. Who knows? Wait. Get dressed. We're putting a shirt on, baby. Doctor's chair? Alright. Alright, it's gonna be, it's, uh, the, the title's gonna be something to do with, like, a, a comeback story. Yeah, yeah, that's, 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 that's okay, yeah, yeah. A pleasure meeting you, Pen. I'm Dr. Lomas. Doctor in what exactly? Doctor? You got one hour. One. Pathetic. What's up with the skull thing? That's still throwing me for a loop. I swear if this shirt has a hole in it. No holes! But there is a key. I'm not ready to ride a motorcycle yet. Should probably put that key somewhere else then. Somewhere safe. Alright, what now? 
find Ginny and face the past. Uh, how do I do both of those things? How do we just find a baby? Sorry, I still have sniffles. I gotta fucking... I gotta fucking get the comforter out. I gotta get it out and I gotta wash it. And then I gotta use it. I was so thirsty, I drank a glass of water this big in one gulp, Mom. What did you say your name was? My name is Ed. Thanks, Ed. I'm Faye. If you could bring me some ice. How did she do it? Ah, uh, well. I don't really want to get into it. Hi. Guess who's calling? <laughs> the thing is, I'd like to see you again. Oh, and I think I lost an earring. If you find it, can you give me a call? Hmm, maybe. We'll see. If we survive, I guess. So what do, you, do I leave the house now, or? No, I, I keep trying. Where's my cat? The food bowl's gone. Where's the ant as well? I just keep thinking I'm going to see something really creepy outside the window. Soon I'll figure out what I need to do. was that I've been spamming a just in case I didn't see whatever it is I need to see there we go Mom, I'm 
sorry. I didn't mean to. Uh... It's not your fault, sweetie. It's just that when Daddy's sad, he gets upset. You're never going to get sad or upset like that. Promise me. I promise. Please tell me that was it. I don't know where another one could be. Night to B6, Sam. You're still screwed. Put chess piece back. I don't... Where does it go? Is there a chessboard upstairs? There's a chain. How the hell do I get over there? A ladder, I guess. I don't get that. I don't understand that little section. going <laughs> I asked you a question Eddie where do you think you're going <laughs> you think going out there and facing the world will make you someone the hell it will <laughs> I know you did. You're a piece of junk like me. You're useless. <laughs> you don't know how to love without hurting people. <laughs> you ruined that. Because you don't really care about anything but yourself and your I'm not going to let you go around hurting people like I did. Just end your miserable life. Was she watching that whole thing? She just sat there and watched us fiddle in air? I knew we could do it together. Just like we did last time. The victory isn't ours. It's Dr. Lomas's. Eddie, honey, we've already talked about that. Maybe you should lie down for a little bit. I'm fine. I don't need to lie down. It's just I'd like to talk about... <sighs> Did you have breakfast? Do you want a little juice and some toast? The doctor helped me remember everything that happened. What Dad did. Eddie, what have I always told you? Some things are better left unsaid. 
Or do you want some bacon and eggs instead? When mom and dad died and you took She's still hiding something, dude. I don't I trust her. Night after night of you telling me how much mom and dad loved each other. How both of them watched over me from the stars with Jenny. Happy to see me happy. Because I had to be happy. I'd still be nice, though. I understand why you did it. But those buried memories slowly ate away at me from the inside. I'm tired. I'm going to lie down for a bit. All clear. There are eggs in the fridge and enough oranges. After the nap, I'll make some three bean choke. We ate some not too long ago, but it's your favorite, so I guess. All clear. Please, Aunt Claire. I don't know what happened to your dad. I don't, or why he changed like that. It happened so fast. Over the course of a few months. Two years before the end. No reason or explanation. Your mother and I, we tried everything. We talked to him. We asked him. We begged him. We supported him. We got him help. But in the end, we lost him. All your mom had left was you. The possibility that you could still be happy in spite of it all. I want to rest her. I'll do my best. I'd best lie down for a bit. Maybe she's too weak to kill anybody. I don't know. Still have my suspicions of the old lady. Do you have to go check on her now? Is that is that what we're gonna have to do? Faced, find, put chess piece. Dude, I don't know where the fuck this chess piece goes. Can I go into the guest house? I haven't been in there yet. Wait, that's the house house. This is the guest house. God damn it. I'm all over the place. I have vertigo. She needs a little time. Okay. Guess we can't check the guest house because Aunt Claire needs time. But, you sure you want us to tear down the tree house? It just needs a little paint and varnish. Stick to the plan. Tear it all down. Whatever you say, boss. But any kid would be thrilled. Where are you? Is there anything up there? Can I go up there?
night to B6, Sam, you're still screwed. <laughs> Boy, don't you remember anything I taught you when you were little, huh? Ah, uh, 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 why do I always forget about castling? You always defend by attacking, okay? The trick is, always have a safe place for your most valuable pieces. No fun if there's no risk involved. No game if there are no pieces. What's wrong? Aren't you gonna move? You're a wise old man, Samuel Franklin. Your chess and fishing advice is never really about chess and fishing, is it? I'm just an uneducated old farmer boy. Stop reading into everything. The one using all the pretty words here is you. Not true. We're more alike than you think. <laughs> you wish. By the way, I know it's not your birthday or anything, but I saw this the other day in the window of the antique store on East Main, and I thought, well, Frankie Lane, chess, so, uh, I don't know. It's a valuable piece, so, you know, keep it in a safe place. How did he get in his house? You know what? In the early 80s, I was convinced that the Russians were going to fry us all with a nuclear bomb. So I built a bomb shelter under the ranch. I built it myself. With no help from anybody. You're kidding me. Anyway. It can house uh, up to seven people. Has running water. Its own energy supply. No one knows it exists. Not even my nephew, Adam. Just Esther. And me. Why are you telling me about it? Look at us. Look at us what? Neither one of us has. We're both missing. We're family. Uh, about that. I. Uh, I met. Uh, no. No, what? Hmm. How long have you known? Since Esther saw you leaving the mall, she saw the diapers in the trunk of your car, too. I've been holding her back a whole week so she wouldn't come drill you with questions. Uh, well, I met a girl a while ago and, uh, uh no. The baby is. I don't know where to start. Uh, no rush. Whenever you've got it figured out. As long as you know that... That if the Russians go crazy again... The girl... The baby... And you... Are all invited to live in the bunker. Anyway, boy, your turn. Are you gonna make a move or what?
Shit's about to get crazy, huh? It's no problem. We got the first flight of eggs. Anything you need, Kate. Robert, this is Sheriff Nick Reyes from Cerro Lake. Pleasure. Please. So, why the urgency? Is this about Ed? Has he gotten worse? Robert, this might seem a little odd, but do you remember if Veronica has an unusual scar? What? <laughs> I don't know. Why would you ask that, sweetie? Mr. Carrigan, we're asking about a very particular scar on the right glute. At an early stage, the subject may move from experimenting on helpless victims out of mere curiosity to pursuing specific goals against victims of higher rank or power. Oh, God. You need bark dancing. Honey, you, 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 you can't just barge into the Cerny's yard without permission. And you certainly cannot take Skippy. But he was hot. He's a puppy, honey. He doesn't know how to swim. And that pool is really deep. Dear God, if I hadn't been there. Miss Cerny said I was a bad girl. Oh, you're not a bad girl, honey. She yeah, she's a fucking psychopath. And said some things she shouldn't have. That's all. But she won't let me play with Skippy anymore. She's a stupid old fart. Sweetie, they were only scared, that's all. They thought you wanted to hurt the puppy. But I... Just put yourself in their shoes for a moment. Imagine if someone took you to the park without your dad's permission when he wasn't around. And let's just say that, God forbid, you fell off the slide and hurt yourself. Wouldn't your daddy tell that person that they couldn't take you to the park anymore? You can't tell daddy. I don't want you to. I can't lie to your dad. Plus, we should always tell the truth. Uh... I swear I won't do it ever again. Promise. Please. Pretty please. Oh, honey. If I don't tell him, he'll find out from someone else. Okay. Here's the plan. I'll put the dirty towels in the wash while you think about what you'd like to eat. Then I'll fix it up for you in a jiffy. What do you say? Okay, uh, I'm gonna go and wrap it up here before shit gets crazy, and it's probably gonna get fucking crazy, so I'm gonna go into here, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.